everyone, it's Kayla. Today I wanted to talk to you about the importance of training partners. Uh, we went to a powerlifting meet this past weekend and it was a, it was a good experience, but it was really eye-opening to see what the sport is looking like nowadays in terms of no teams. Like the last several meets I've been to, there weren't a whole lot of teams. I remember when I first started powerlifting, everyone went to meets as a team. I mean, it was it was um, definitely the minority to see people there by themselves. And if, there were, if they were there by themselves, then a lot of people from other teams would reach out and help them um, do what they needed to do to get through the meet, like handoffs or help with their gear or whatnot. But it's just not like that nowadays. And um, part of that, I think, is because of the shift in lifting more raw versus gear but even still I think more of it comes down to people's mentalities I think that um, nobody wants to be a real training partner anymore they just think about the things that they want to do or have to do and that's it but the truth of the matter is you're stronger in numbers so if you have a team of people you're gonna have eyes watching you lift that can see something that you can't see. Even if you're recording your own videos, you think that you can just self-analyze what you're doing and make the corrections you need. And although part of that is true, what if there's something in your technique that you aren't aware of, that a new set of eyes watching you is gonna really help to point out something you're doing with your technique or something that they've learned from someone else being in the sport that you can apply um, or change to help better your lifting. Also, um, they're there to spot you, to keep you from getting hurt, to keep you from doing something stupid. Like, uh, you know, going for a max attempt when you clearly shouldn't be doing that that day. You know, just simple things like that. You need a team there to support you. Also, it's really hard to go into the gym every single day in and day out with the right mentality that you need to really attack the weights and do what you need to do. Um, the training partners are good to give you that push that you need so you don't sandbag yourself. So you're really striving towards the goals that you have. Um, there's so many people that have so much untapped potential and they're just trying to depend on themselves to get through it. And Although you can make progress and you can do better, having a team of people there are really going to help to push you to the next level. And this isn't just for powerlifting. This is for every sport. So what I would say is just put your ego aside. You don't need to be the biggest fish in a small pond. Find people who are better than you and learn from them. The longer you're a student of the sport, the better you're going to be. And you also need to realize that you're not gonna get there overnight and that's okay. Everything you learn through it is part of the process. It's what's gonna make you a better lifter overall. You don't wanna just make it great in a year, burn yourself out and then be done with it. It's supposed to be more long-term, something that you can enjoy for a long time. Um, some of our best friends have been met through powerlifting and um, it's great to have that camaraderie with people that share the same passion as you so you really need that social networking that comes with the team um, just people to learn from it's not um, it's not always about just trying to be a big fish in a small pond and I think a lot of us nowadays just have ego problems. They want to do small meets so that they can win first place um, in their weight class when really they didn't even PR. They didn't even beat themselves from their previous meet, but they're happy with what they did because they beat other people. Like that's just not, that's not powerlifting. That's not how it's supposed to be. And that's not really um, competition of any sort. Yeah, things happen. You're not always going to have a stellar day and that's okay but the point is 
if you have the right mentality, if you're humble, if you just put the work in and you surround yourself with people that are more knowledgeable than you, that are stronger than you or better than you at the current sport, you're going to gain so much more from that than just trying to limit yourself by doing small competitions or staying where you're comfortable and not really allowing yourself to grow in any way. So that's it. Um, Just some of my thoughts on teamwork, why it's important to have training partners and take with it what you will. But I bet if you find some good quality people um, that are really passionate about the same things you are, they're going to be more than happy to help you make yourself better and um, just help you progress and make it more long term instead of a short term thing. All right. Well, that's it for today. Hope everyone has a great day. See you next time.